All right, so let's talk about spiritual warfare real quick. Five minute video or less. So when you're having bad thoughts, that can be contributed to spiritual warfare. You know, bad thoughts, consecutive cycles of bad thoughts that are leading you astray, leading you towards darkness, leading you towards negativity, isolation, depression, even suicidal thoughts, all that kind of stuff. You know, it, 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 every thought carries a feeling. So you start thinking about the beach right now, Start thinking, I'm on vacation. Start thinking, I got something to look forward to. My future looks bright. It's going to carry a feeling. And the Bible says to think on things above and not beneath. The devil is always looking for a way to deplete us of our energy. Deplete us of our, uh, you know, just the, the direction that we're walking in. With each and every thought that we have, it, e it either enforces, encourages, edifies us, and builds us up all the stronger to head in that direction, or it discourages us and depletes us and makes us kind of look in other directions, or maybe it, we just make a bed right there in the middle of nowhere and we lay in it right then and there, trying to tell, you know, telling ourselves that, you know, what's the use, what's the point, and all of this stuff. What's the point of this video? You're in control of your mind. Nobody else is. You have to direct your thoughts. You have to cut them off. You have to. Nobody else is going to do it for you. Yes, the Bible teaches us how to put on the helmet of salvation, right? Uh, it tells us what to do, like think on things above. It tells us how to renew our minds, uh, basically get in the Word. But our actions, um, you, we know uh how to like for example if you're having a thought a bad thought negative thoughts that accompany sadness you can put music on right that encourages that mood to go on and you're in that's in that sense you're stretching that you're making you're accommodating it you're making it a home or you can put different types of music. You can put happy music. You can put up, uplifting music. You can put encouraging, uh, you know, like uh, an encouraging video on, a uh, motivational video. You can combat it, right? And, and that is on you. That's on you, okay? So spiritual warfare, it comes to attack you, mainly your identity. That's not all they attack, but mainly it's always about your identity. And so then you have a decision to make. So uh, whether or not you accept it or receive it, that, that, that ties into your belief system, your identity. And it ties into whether or not, uh, I mean, it ties into the type of fruit you're going to bear, right? At least in that day. And so... I encourage everyone to pray, to combat lies and deception. You know, a lot of a lot of lies come in the frame of God doesn't care, God is not good, God, God, you know, like all of these types of thoughts. They never come singular; they always come in a family. So it comes up as one thought And when we entertain it Then another thought comes in That's within that same family Holding hands And then before you know it You're I mean if the devil would ha were to have his way He would like for you to just All together You know like uh, Either leave the faith Or be so discouraged that you didn't go out and pray for people, evangelize, you didn't worship that day, you didn't read your Bible that day, you didn't do anything with your faith that day because he got you. Uh, and then often, let me just say this as well. When you're doing work for the kingdom, positivity, you're, you're influencing people's lives, the enemy likes to attack those people. And often the way that he attacks is 
like like telling them that like they're what they're doing is not it doesn't measure up it's not good enough it's not they're not making a, a lick of a difference you know and then he goes and attacks their identity after that and tells them you know that they're actually you know a piece of crap and they're never gonna amount to nothing blah 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 all this stuff right so it comes at you twofold mind and feelings so yes god has given us an arsenal of tools to work with one of them is just a peep game to have discernment to understand that that's what's taking place and then to do something about it oh i said five minutes let me end it here god bless you guys